Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, you bought this kit and you put it together, but you have so many questions. I'm sure you do. So let me help you out. I'm going to read this instruction set word for word in English because I know you have so many questions. And I'm sure you just want to know if there are any secret messages or what does this website go to or what's this QR code going to? So many questions. They will all be answered as I read them. It's a long read. I'll break it up with some Howling Husky video. Users, please read this manual carefully before starting to use this product. Medium Wave Amplitude Modulation Transmitter Kit. Instructions for use. Scan WeChat QR code. Having fun with science equipment. The AMT MW207 Medium Wave Transmitter is a simple AM signal source suitable for electronics enthusiasts and radio enthusiasts in the industry. It can be used to test ordinary radios and crystal radios in places where broadcast radio is insufficient and can also be used as an instrument for debugging medium wave radios. Number one, features. One, the circuit is simple. It is composed of common transistors, resistance capacitors, components, has no audio transformer and is easy to make. Two, the sound quality is good. After adjustments, the sound quality can be close to FM broadcasting within the rated transmission distance. The signal to noise ratio is good, and the signal received from the transmitter can sound like broadcast radio. Three, no external antenna needed, which can be tens of meters in length, relies on the magnetic field of the ferrite rod to transmit to the receiver, easy to use, but the transmission distance is relatively close. Four, there are many interfaces designed with all levels of transistor static current test jumpers, external power socket, easy to use and modify to expand the capabilities. Five, external power supply can be used or battery pack module can be used to make the transmitter portable. To the main parameters. Effective transmission distance, super heterodyne medium wave radio is about one meter. Direct type medium wave radio is about 0.5 meters. Rated working voltage, six volts. Three assembly steps. The schematic diagram and the circuit board diagram of this kit are shown later with the component values and the corresponding component position numbers. As long as all components are properly soldered, it can work well. You only need to adjust the band coverage range. If the user changes the transistors included in this kit for other component values, it is very likely that the oscillator will not vibrate or can result in waveform distortion, poor sound quality, and other issues. This situation can only be slowly debugged with an oscilloscope connected to the monitor terminal to achieve the waveform near perfect and stable in the entire medium wave spectrum. Adjust the bandwidth as wide as possible in the medium wave spectrum and with the maximum waveform amplitude possible without distortion. 4. Troubleshooting When this kit is soldered, connect the power supply. Connect the audio signal to the audio in, then turn the modulation signal control to power it on. The transmitter signal can be searched for using a working medium wave radio. At this point, the transmitter can function normally, but the range of the frequency control is certain to be somewhat different from the medium wave frequency range and needs to be adjusted. Adjusting the transmitter frequency coverage can be done using a frequency meter. The following is a description of how to adjust the transmitter with the receiver. Use a digitally tuned radio with a medium wave band to adjust the receiving frequency of the radio to the lowest end of the medium wave, usually 525 kilohertz. Turn the transmitter frequency dial to the low end of the frequency and then move the coil on the ferrite rod to make the radio receive the signal from the transmitter. This is to adjust the low end frequency. Then use a screwdriver 
to turn the screw on the top of the variable capacitor to preset the capacitor. To make the radio receive the signal from the transmitter, this is to adjust the high end frequency. The effect of adjusting the high end and low end frequencies are interrelated, and it takes many times of repeated adjustments to get a consistent tuning range. Next to the image of the variable capacitor, it says, both trim adjustments are effective. The actual range does not need to be too high for the operating frequency of the transmitter can cover all the medium wave frequency bands. You can do it. You can make it. Five, use. Plug the external six volt DC power supply internally or externally into the CZ1 socket of the board or plug a six volt battery pack connector into the battery interface paying attention to the positive and negative poles. Turn the potentiometer knob to turn it on. The effect of this potentiometer is similar to the volume potentiometer of a radio. Turn on the radio, search for the transmitter signal, and then you can listen. You can also reverse the operation, adjust the radio receiving frequency to a position where there is no radio station, and then turn the transmitter dial to change the transmitting frequency until the radio receives the transmitter signal. 6. Use Restrictions 1. This device only has an effective range of a desktop. The radio is quiet if the transmitter is too far away, more than 1 meter. The reception gradually deteriorates, the sound becomes weaker, and the signal-to-noise ratio deteriorates. 2. Increasing the supply voltage can increase the waveform amplitude by a lot, but the actual available transmission distance has not changed much. There it is, hug therapy. 3. The potentiometer of the transmitter controls the modulation degree. If the modulation is too large, the demodulation of the radio will be distorted, and the waveform of the transmitter itself will also become worse. The correct usage is to summarize a suitable position after multiple uses so that the modulation degree is as large as possible. It can also ensure the sound quality. You can turn to this position every time you use it. Don't use it as a volume potentiometer for the radio to frequently adjust it, but adjust the volume on the radio. 4. We strongly urge users to abide by national radio regulations. Safely practice science and technology. Do not try to use an external amplifier with this equipment to increase the transmission distance. If you do, the legal consequences by this will be borne by the user himself and will have nothing to do with this radio kit. <coughs> Seven others. For the principles of radio, amplitude modulation, transmission, etc., please refer to books related to the high frequency circuits. This book will not go into details. Two, to discuss the working principles of the radio, modulation and transmission, and production experience, please visit Crystal Radio Forum at www.crystalradio.cn. Three, scan the WeChat QR code on the homepage of IWAN Science to facilitate inquiries about this kit. Customers can also order via WeChat. To the right of the schematic image, it says, Schematics, I1, I2, and I3 are the static current of the transistors with reference values as follows. I1, 0.02 milliamps. I2, 0.04 milliamps. I3, 0.06 milliamps. Current values are measured by the Shangli 9808 multimeter. The current values measured by other models of instruments may be different. Power input battery, internal and external negative detect, modulation signal input. Circuit board diagram, top view. There are two wire breakouts, A and B, at the bottom of the board. Breakout A is used to short circuit the coil. When testing BG2 current, breakout A needs to be welded and disconnected after the test. Breakpoint B is used to connect the two amplitude modulation couplers of the variable capacitor in parallel and must be soldered through. I1, I2, I3 are jumpers for testing the static current of the transistors. After the test, the jumper cap should be inserted. Three monitor terminals are used to test oscillation signals. Four battery terminals are used to plug in the battery. 
Pay attention to polarity identification.